Coming home to your own homemade four degree of freedom motion sim is pretty much sublime after a long hard day at work. You can really unwind doing circle work in a Porsche 904. Well, that's enough of that silly business. Hey, 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 and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. ADHD. I'm always on the lookout for great historic mods for R Factor 2, and these two mods that I'm showcasing today will not disappoint. The GT Revival Car Pack and this fantastic 70s version of Watkins Glen. I love finding talented modders and I love testing their mods with my motion simulator. It's a great way of testing physics, both the road mesh physics and the car physics. And R Factor never disappoints with physics. And in my opinion, R Factor 2 is still the king of physics of any sim titles available out there. Now I play a lot of different sim platforms, from Assetto Corsa to R Factor 2 and everything in between. Older titles like Grand Prix Legends, GT Legends, GTR, the list goes on. And in my experience testing all of these platforms with my motion simulator and my direct drive wheelbase, R Factor 2 has the cleanest and the most responsive feedback to my motion sim and my direct drive wheelbase as far as the road mesh and the car physics go of any of the sim titles that I regularly play. Now I understand that not everybody has the luxury of owning a motion simulator platform. I certainly couldn't afford one. They're very cost prohibitive. That's why I built one myself. And my channel now is all about teaching people to build their own motion simulator platforms. Everything from materials, fabrication, the right motors and electronics to use, the right software, the whole lot. I'll teach you in step-by-step -step tutorials on my channel how to build this beast and you will be a very happy camper. If you appreciate my content, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Well, there's not much point in having all of this great tech, a motion sim, a direct drive wheelbase, if you can't find decent content to actually use it with. Now, one of the reasons why I love historic content, apart from the fact that I'm actually an old fart is because historic racetracks were so damn rough. They were downright dangerous to drive on and you needed to have balls of steel to get in some of these cars and the power that these cars actually had. With very low tech too, I might point out. No traction control, no ABS, but you needed to drive them like a bat out of hell on really dodgy road surfaces. Let's have a talk about this outstanding version of 1970s Watkins Glen. Now this was created by a gentleman that goes by the name of Phil Rob. Now he's been a modder in the modding community for many, many years, stretching right back to the GP Legends days. I've enjoyed many, many hours of some of his mods in the original R Factor. There was a particular mod that he was involved in. It was a 1958 Belgium Spa mod, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And the road meshing was sensational. And this is going right back to R Factor. R Factor, guys, is still a really, really good physics engine. And it still works really well with a motion sim and a direct drive wheelbase. Not as good as R Factor 2, but it's still really, really good. And that track was outstanding for tracks at that time for R Factor. Now, historic content for R Factor 2 has been pretty slow off the blocks, but because of the generosity of these committed modders in the R Factor 2 community, slowly we're seeing more and more historic content being released, like this GT Revival Car Pack and Phil Rob's 1970s Watkins Glen. And I've included links to both the track and the car pack in the description. So make sure you check them out, make sure you grab them and get them into your R Factor 2 arsenal. Now when I was doing some research on Phil Rob himself, the way he goes about creating his tracks, I was really happy to discover that for over 40 years, Phil had actually spent time as a marshal and a steward on racetracks, the likes of Alton Park and Aintree in the UK, and it suddenly made sense why his tracks feel so realistic. Phil Rob has been living and breathing historic motorsport for all of these years, so he really has a very in-depth understanding of 
road surfaces from historic racetracks and what needs to be considered to build a realistic road meshing system for a racing simulator for an historic racetrack. And this is reflected in what we get with Phil Robb's road surfaces in our direct drive force feedback steering wheels and now with the advent of motion simulators into your motion simulator. Now I don't know if we can call Phil Robb a modding god. Actually, I'm happy to call him a god. At the very least, I would call the man a saint. And if I could, I would shake the man's hand and I would most definitely buy him a beer. Let's have a chat about the GT Revival Car Pack by the Triple S Garage team. Now I've found a lot of the car mods in R Factor 2 to be very, very hit and miss. And I found that many of the mods and their tyre physics are so slippery, they're just not enjoyable to drive. I don't even select the cars because they're unrealistically slippery. It's like you are literally driving on an ice rink. I don't know what the heck is going on. I know that the tyre physics for R Factor 2 are extremely complicated, but some of them are just ridiculous and I don't even drive them. But the GT Revival Pack, the tyre physics, man, they have absolutely nailed it. I'm going to start this by saying, wow, just wow. The physics are wow. So, so good. I don't know what they've done with their tyre physics on this. Many modding people in the community simply take tyre physics from other cars and just add them to the cars that they create. But I think these ones are a scratch build tyre physics because I haven't come across any tyre physics of any other cars, both actual developer content or from the modding community that feel quite like these tyre physics on these cars. They are fabulous. And the cars to look at, the interiors of the cars are gorgeous. Probably amongst the best interiors of this era of cars that I've seen on any sim platform. The chrome work and stuff like that in the Ferrari GTO is phenomenal. They have really, really done their homework and their attention to detail as far as the cars look, both on the outside and on the inside, is just, well, wow. The time it would have taken these guys to put these cars together, I wouldn't know where to start. They must have spent hundreds of hours building these cars. And in this car pack, you get the Austin Martin DB4, you get the Austin Healey 3000 Mark II, you get the Bizarani 5300 GT, you get the Chevrolet Corvette C2, you get the Ferrari 250 GT SWB, you get a Ferrari 250 GDO as mentioned, you get the Ford Mustang 289, you get the Jaguar E-Type Lightweight, you get a Mercedes 300 SL Gullwing, you get the Porsche 904 which I'm driving today and you get a beautiful Shelby Cobra with the hardtop. Wow! So it's a heartfelt thank you from Dr. ADHD to Phil Rob and the Triple S Garage team for these sensational mods that they have released uh, free of charge for the R Factor 2 community. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate it. Keep them coming because they are absolutely fantastic. Well, I'm going to leave you with the remaining few laps of 70s Watson Glen as I belt around here like a maniac in the Porsche 904. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until I see you in the next video, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and take it easy out there.